Hello and welcome back to New Label Zoni. Today is the first unboxing of 2024 and we're going to do it with a Wish Do It Watch. Inside we have the Racing GT Chrono Silvery and this is the packaging he came in. This is going to be the third unboxing of the Wish Do It Watch. If you have missed the previous unboxing and the review, the link is in the description. So let's see how the watch looks like. Nothing else in here. And you have this special opening and you're given the warranty card and your $50 USD gift card and you have the lens cleaner wish do it logo on the lens cleaner as well and this is the watch again this is a racing GT chrono silvery and there's nothing else inside so let's see what the watch looks like this way just remove the packaging to give you a proper look and this is the watch this side the crown and the pushers the pushers are kind of embedded in, so it's quite hard to see. So it's here and here, and then the back where you have engraved of a, a Ford GT car, and you have the strap, the buckle sign with the Wish Do logo, as always. And let's bring it back to the dial. We're going to put it in motion and see how it works. So, what we're looking at, so we're looking at a 42 millimeter by 50, 42, 50. This is a tonneau uh, design, so similar with your Richard Mill watches, so that's a tonneau design. And in terms of which we're looking at 14.9 millimeter, so quite thick. In terms of the casing, it is made from 360 nl stainless steel. And, we'll, and we have a mineral crystal glass which gives it a good design and finish you also have the screws as we've seen with other watches and it kind of gives it a rugged and kind of bold look to it again this is a chrono watch so let's see how it works one thing straight away we're looking at is that this is not aligned properly so the chrono sub dial is is a bit off it's more towards the 11 rather than a 12 bang on but let's see how it works so it is working let's stop it and let's reset it so as you can see it's not aligned properly it's going more towards the 11 o'clock rather than the 12 again if you're proper avid watch collector this is not really good so they do need to fix this alignment issue you do have a minute and hour sub dial and you have the hands and also the second hand here otherwise it is a good looking watch the numbers are quite bold you can see them and you have the tachymeter on the outer index so let's see how this watch looks on the wrist this is the watch on the wrist give you the side look you do have the curve bezel again with the to no casing so of course it's going to sit well on the wrist i am using the second to last hole i do have a small wrist as i keep saying in all my videos uh, so if you have a smaller wrist you have one spare hole so if your wrist is smaller than 17 centimeters in circumference uh, this may not be the best watch for you uh, in terms of weight this is quite a weighty watch quite heavy so i'm probably 200 gram plus uh, it does sit well the crown doesn't get too much in the way it does look good. Uh, inside the watch we have a Seiko VD53 quartz movement so we're looking at plus minus 20 second a month which is decent for a quartz watch. Uh, it is a 580M watch so don't go in too much water even a shower more than this watch won't survive but otherwise it is a good looking watch it is a chronograph watch also we just realized there is a Windows date so if we bring it closer it is here 
as you can see, hopefully you can see, it is kind of lost with all the design and all the numbers but there is a date window here they should have made it a bigger or position it differently before you can see it properly should have position it to, to be on straight underneath the 12 o'clock because there's no uh, there's a lot of space here and would have been more visible uh, the hands and the numbers of luminous so given low light they, they will light up otherwise it is a good looking watch solid feel to it doesn't feel clunky doesn't feel out of place feels solid but the only problem is it is a chronograph watch and it is the alignment issue will will really annoy people and they do need to fix it and just give it another go stop it and then reset yeah again alignment is an, is an issue I probably you're probably questioning uh, a chronograph usually uses a second hand, but this one they using a different method using this uh, second sub dial. Otherwise, it is a good looking watch. Chronograph, do need, I mean, the alarm issue needs to be fixed. In terms of pricing, we're looking at £186, British pounds that is. So it's not as expensive as the other reviews that we've done of the other Wish Do watches. It is quite on the affordable range, but the alarm issue will be a sticking point. So this was unboxing of the Wish Do It Racing GT Chrono Silvery watch. We're going to do a full review of this watch. The link is in the description. Hope you like watching this video. See you guys soon.